Hey guys, it's Jess and it's Tuesday and yesterday I had fully intended to film this video um, and update you guys on my exercise because yesterday marked exactly two weeks since I started working out but I had a migraine and like it was a bad one too because I actually had a dream where I was having a migraine and then I woke up and I was actually having a migraine like ugh. and I always know that if I wake up with a headache even if it's just a mild one it's gonna turn into a migraine if I don't like head it off at the pass you know and so having woken up and already been in migraine territory I was like oh this is gonna be fun today and so yeah I got up I immediately took my migraine medication and some Tylenol and still it took like well into the afternoon I think I woke up around 8 which is actually kind of early for me but it still took around until around 2 30 3 o'clock or so before my head started feeling better and then my back was all angry at me probably because I'd been like all tense from the migraine and my back is still a little bit angry at me but it's better today but in any way yeah so we got delayed by a day sorry um but I am feeling much better today. I was able to work out today. It was fine. I did some strength training, so that probably doesn't help that my back being angry because it was already still a little bit angry from yesterday. But you know what, back, you're just going to have to play with it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's been exactly two weeks um, since I started working out. And I have noticed some, for me, I think there are significant changes. Um, one is I have more energy. Which I know seems like counterintuitive. You'd think like, oh, I'm working out. I'm expending a lot of energy doing that, whether it's strength training or cardio on my elliptical, you know, and, and I get that. But exercise of any kind, if you hear weird slamming noises in the background, Cosmo's chewing on his bone in his crate. Um, but exercise of any kind, it like gets your adrenaline going and your endorphins pumping and you're just like, so then afterwards you're just like, yeah, I want to go. I want to do stuff. And I have noticed that I've been getting a lot more stuff done since I started working out. Like I'll, I'll work out and then I'm like, oh, okay, let's go pull weeds in the yard and uh, let's go take Cosmo for a really long walk and let's do this and that and the other thing. And it's like, I just want to get all this stuff done and so that's awesome that I'm feeling like I actually have more energy um, because I, I mentioned in the last workout video that I get that depression where I'm like I just don't want to do anything I'm just like blah excuse me I'm like let me just hide in my little corner in my pillow fort and just I don't want to talk to anybody and I don't want to do anything that's the kind of depression that I get so for me Having more energy and wanting to go and do things outside of my house, that's a really great sign for me. Um, as far as like my mental health goes, because I know that's like my depression is, is getting better. And I have noticed as well, just like my general mood overall has been better, like maybe not by a whole heck of a lot. And I'd really have to ask somebody else, to, like one of my roommates who like is with me all the time to, to know for sure. <clears throat> what like if they've noticed a change as far as my mood goes um, But I feel like my mood has improved um, at least a little bit also um, I am sleeping better which there 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 comes your um, you know like well you should you're using more energy You should be tired. Um, I am sleeping better because like you, you work out and you get that endorphin and adrenaline rush but eventually that's gonna taper off and then you're gonna want to then you're sleepy and so I've noticed that yes, I am sleeping quite a bit better and I'm taking far, far fewer of my prescription sleeping pills, which is amazing to me. I'm still taking melatonin um, because for a few years now, I've had a really hard time um, falling asleep, like getting to sleep. Um, or then if I wake up in the middle of the night, getting back to sleep. Um, so I am still taking melatonin. I think I want to give it a little more time before I start kind of tapering off the melatonin a little bit to see what happens. But I, th I think it's a huge sign that I am taking 
way fewer of my sleeping pills. And as a matter of fact, I think I took one last night just because I was in a lot of pain and I wanted to make sure that I um, could get to sleep and relax so that all those like um, spasming muscles would chill out. Um, and just to make sure that I did get a good night's sleep. So I took one last night and honestly, I know I took one on the 4th of July, which is the first day that I started working out. But in between that period of time, I, I honestly, I don't, I couldn't tell you. I'm sure that I must have probably at some point in there, because I feel like I did. But see, it's amazing. Like in, t in the span of two weeks, I've maybe taken three of my sleeping pills. Like that's insane when I was taking them every night and sometimes like I my doctor told me I can either take 50 milligrams or I can take 100 milligrams and most nights I was taking 50 milligrams but every once in a while that still wasn't even enough to get me to sleep and I would take 100 milligrams so for going from like every single night taking at least 50 milligrams down to three we'll call it three in the span of two weeks that's insane for me like that is just absolutely incredible. That's probably like the biggest difference I've noticed besides having more energy is that I'm sleeping much better and I don't need pharmaceuticals to do it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay. Um, also, overall, um, in the span of the last two weeks, I feel like my back pain is better. Um, yesterday really being the exception. Um, because, and I've noticed that in the past too, like when I've, um, uh, like been, when I like when I had a gym membership a couple years ago and I was pretty good about going at least a couple times a week, um, my back pain was actually better because I was using those muscles um, the way they're really supposed to be used most of the time as opposed to just using them for coughing, which, you know, mostly it's like your abdominals and especially your diaphragm that you really should be using for coughing. But for somebody with CF who coughs really, really hard all the time, like pretty much everything from your hips up, hips up, get into the mix. So um, that that's why my back um, has bothered me for many, 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 many years. Um, but I do feel like that is getting better. Um, and even when it has bothered me, it's been more of the um, like it's sore from strength training and like sore from being used in a way they're not used to being used as opposed to like spasms it's a totally different kind of pain and like the soreness i can totally handle that is not a problem for me the spasms though are what i've been dealing with for years and that is what can can be like so agonizing for me like yesterday was off the charts um so I feel like I'm having less back pain. I feel like my lungs are clearer. For the first week or so, like I felt like I was coughing up a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> but I wasn't surprised by that. And uh, just because I was working out more and, you know, using my lungs more and, um, you know, getting my heart rate up, getting my breathing rate up. And so the first week or so, wasn't surprised that I was coughing up a lot more stuff. It's kind of tapered off now, um, which again, not surprising just because I don't just, there's, there's not as much in there to bring up, I think. And um, I'm, what is there, I'm like, I'm bringing it up more efficiently. Um, like I said last week in my, in my video about, you know, starting to exercise and everything, as far as in my personal experience for me, the best form of airway clearance, you know, um, also known as just clearing out my lungs, is exercise. And um, like through most of my teenage years, I didn't do any other form of airway clearance except playing, I played sports. That's what I did. And I was incredibly healthy during my teen years. Um, I was much, much healthier than other CF patients my age at least according to my doctors at the time. So for me, yeah, best form of airway clearance has always been exercise. 
So that's another plus is that my lungs just feel super, super clear. So that's amazing. Um, at first, the spot in my lung that always hurts when I'm sick and what landed me in the hospital at the end of May, um, it was pretty angry at me. Um, but I could tell a lot of the stuff I was coughing up was from that area. That's just where I felt it like kind of rattling around before I would cough it out. And so I'm hoping that, um, you know, maybe I've got that area kind of cleared out some more. So maybe if I had like little tiny areas where it was collapsed that maybe didn't necessarily show up on an x-ray or a CT, um, maybe those are cleared out now and, and they're inflated or just because there's not so much infection right there. Um, the inflammation is down maybe, I hope. Um, really, whatever the reason is, I don't care. It feels better. Like, let's be honest, this has been bothering me pretty consistently for a year. And, and, and I've noticed like, I still get the occasional twinge of like, oh, hey, it didn't like that. Um, but I really don't ever expect that to fully go away. Um, just because this area has been such a problem for me. <clears throat> and um, there's a, there is a lot of scar tissue there. So even if I were to somehow magically get it totally cleared of infection right there, there's still all that scar tissue that um, is probably causing at least some of the problems that I've had. So um, the last metric that I am going by, um, I should have brought them out here with me. I have this one pair of jeans that was given to me earlier this year, so six months ago or less, probably less, um, they were given to me and at the time they fit me really, really well. And then I went to try them on, I went to go put them on for something, maybe like three, four weeks ago, um, and I couldn't get them buttoned. In fact, I could barely get them up, like, but I, I got them up, but then I couldn't get them buttoned. And I was just like, oh, and like, there was like, probably like this much of a gap, maybe two and a half, three inches, somewhere at two to three inches of a gap where I couldn't close them. And I was just like, oh, and then I might have been going to put them on to go to CF clinic. But then I went to CF clinic and found out I weighed 140 pounds, which is the most I've ever weighed in my life. And it was like, okay, well, no wonder I couldn't get the pants on. Um, so I told you guys in my last video that I'm not going to weigh myself. I have no intention of weighing myself or taking my measurements. Um, the only time I'm going to get weighed is at doctor's appointments because they make you do that. Those sadists. Ugh. Um, but I was like, okay, it's been two weeks. Just for giggles, let's see if I can get these pants on and if there's less of a gap to, you know, being able to button them. Totally did not expect them to button. I was just like, let's just see if the gap is smaller. And even if it wasn't, I would have been okay with that because like I said, I feel better. And my goal is to, you know, gain muscle and lose fat. And I have been doing a lot of ab work. And so whatever. It was like, even if they had still not been, you know, even if they were fitting exactly the same, I wasn't going to worry about it. But, um, the only metric I'm going by as far as like weight loss and toning is how my clothes fit. So I was able to get them on. I was able to get them buttoned. It wasn't pretty. They were still extremely tight. There was much muffin top happening, but they buttoned. So something is happening, you guys. There's progress, at least as far as getting the jeans on. So I'm really happy about that. Um, so yeah, um, let me guys know if you want me to continue updating you about my exercise, how I'm feeling, if you guys want me to show you some of the exercises that I've been doing. Uh, let me know, um, and I will film that as well for you guys. I mean, whatever you guys want, let me know. Um, and go ahead and just give this video a thumbs up for exercise in general because 
we prop most of us at least should be doing more than we are and um so maybe maybe like you want to exercise with me do you want to exercise with me exercise with me you should start do anything even if it's just going for a walk that's still exercise that still counts um so uh let me know what you guys want to see let me know what you guys do for exercise um, maybe you'll inspire me to try something new that I maybe haven't heard of or haven't done or haven't done in a long time at least and think maybe I can't do anymore. I don't know. Um, so yeah, just, um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, thank you for coming on my exercise journey with me. I really appreciate it. The police, they found me. Oh no, I better go.